So good morning. I'm Alexander Suma. I'm the CEO and founder of Ibis Power. And what I'd like to share with you today is a breakthrough solution for renewable energy on buildings, and especially large buildings, to make them sustainable, because that's a big challenge. Um, a little sneak peek, actually, it's already there, so I already uh, <laughs> shared the secret. But I first like to share with you a little bit of that journey that we went through. It's uh, more than 10 years ago that I did my PhD at the University of Miami. And living there as a Dutch guy, I saw how much society is depending on air conditioning. And of course, that's very logical in Miami. Um, but I also realized that all that energy was generated in a couple of pollutive plants in the north. And I was thinking as an architect and a civil engineer, why can't we do that differently and generate all the energy of that building at the building itself, getting it from its direct environment? And that's where a journey started. And I went back to the Netherlands um, after my PhD. And actually, here you can see all that product development, company development that we went through. And we had a couple of big challenges um, because uh, first we had to convince the academics because they didn't believe in windmills on roofs. They said it doesn't work. There is no proof. There is only bad examples. And the same for the market. We had to uh, convince them because actually early adopters had negative experiences. Um, but as you can see, we did a lot of product development and we got there. I think we cracked the nut. Uh, the nut. We have the data and um, I think we're the first one to say that we made wind energy on roofs work. Uh, plus we added solar to that. So why is this important? Um, for real estate owners, of course. Um, but it's already mentioned a couple of times today, local law 97 climate change issues translated into penalties from 2024. Um, the energy cost increase, it went from 2020 6.4% up to 2021. If that continues, that will be 36 cents per kilowatt hour in 2030. Why is that important for the real estate owner? If your building is not energy efficient, your tenants will pay high electricity bills and then your building is less attractive. And the physical limitations. When I talk to building owners who want to make their building sustainable, they just don't have the space on the roof to place enough solar panels. And, and that's a big problem. And that's because all the utilities are placed on the roof and you have to fit the panels a little bit in between. If I look at a larger scale for the city, um, we will use four times more electricity in the urban environment in 2030 because we're going to charge our vehicles and we're uh, replacing all that heating into electrified uh, building heating solutions. Um, grid congestion is another big problem, has also been mentioned. And from my experience in Europe, um, we are actually limiting the allowance of uh, solar farms and wind farms because the grid can't take it. And we're also limiting new real estate to be connected to the grid, so they're not giving permits. So that's something to take account of. And lastly, eight and a half thousand buildings in New York City are directly applicable uh, for a solution. Uh, well, actually not, they don't have a solution at this moment, uh, but we have one. And that's what I'm going to present to you. So this is PowerNest. It's uh, a wind and solar integrated rooftop. Um, it's called, it arch architecturally integrates. It's called uh, Crown on the Building by uh, architects. And it generates six to 10 times more than the solar applications currently available. It makes use of a secret sauce that we called aerodynamic enhancement, and I'll show that to you in the next slide. And it's applicable for new and existing buildings of five levels or higher, as long as they have a flat roof. So it's fully modular. I take out, no, we're going to the video. <laughs> Can I have the video, please? Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to the video. We're going to, wait, let me first have the, okay. Rotterdam is committed to fight climate change on the local level. And that's why we, together with more than 100 companies and organizations, made the Rotterdam Climate Agreement. And our purpose is to become a climate neutral city. What I especially like about the Power Nest is that it's a smart combination between generating solar power and wind power, and especially in a city like Rotterdam with a lot of rooftops. 
it was really nice to design with PowerNest as a design solution uh, for this project, a very sustainable solution. It was actually not part of our design in the beginning, it was part of the design of the other architects. But then the wind calculations came and it appeared that it was way more efficient to place it on our building, uh, where we are close to the river, we have a lot of wind coming in. First thing we said to the client was, okay, we can add it to our building, but we need three power nests, not one, so that it can really fill the whole roof and it really can become a crown of the building and really part of the design. But we already have the design on the drawing table to produce even 25% more energy on the roof space. Power nest opens this possibility even for the large buildings, creating smart, self-sustaining and healthy cities. Thank you. Can I have the modules on the screen? Yes, perfect. Um, so what is that secret sauce? And the movie that you just saw is our project in Rotterdam. We lift, that was the lifting day, which was done last summer. Um, but so it consists of modules. So what we do, we lift up that roof space 15 feet. We go over all the utilities and we go three feet over the facade. So we use more than 100% of the roof space. Now, the most innovative part is that we found a way to capture that facade interacting wind flow with our aerodynamic concepts and accelerate it towards the turbine, where the turbine uh, generates four times more energy compared to that it would be outside the building. We use the same winds and we direct it under the panels to cool the panels, makes them annually produce 10 to 15 percent more. And lastly, if we have a light, uh, light gray or white version, and we use, make use of the internal reflections by, by facial solar panels, and we generate another 20 to 30 percent uh, from the bottom of the solar panels. So in that way, we're able to generate six to 10 times more energy on that same roof space. It does depend on the location, of course, uh, if there is enough wind available, but in New York, that's not a big deal. Um, so here are the metrics of that uh, video that you saw. Uh, it contains 144 solar panels, three wind turbines, with that Venturi effect, and that generates 60 megawatt hours, which is sufficient for 30 apartments, uh, which is basically this whole building block. All the electric energy is generated by PowerNest. And this is the project that we're installing today. It's located in Eindhoven, a 220 feet high tower, will generate uh, 120 megawatt hours from around 300 solar panels and four wind turbines and that will supply 75 apartment of full green electricity. And here you can see the modules, uh, we're waiting for the crane permit. Uh, here you can see that the modules are fully ready. We assemble them next to the building and then a crane lifts them on top. So by the end of this year, and we're on track for that, uh, we believe that we'll have installed 14 installations in the Netherlands and Belgium. Uh, and that means that we have a growth of 250% from last year, uh, no, last year, and uh, this year, five to ten times uh, growth. But back to New York, uh, because I would like to share with you a project that it already has solar panels, and that's an ideal case for me to show you the what if they already knew about PowerNest. So you can see 24 buildings in Rockaway owned by NYCHA. Um, here are some metrics, um, and I took out one building, and we can place seven modules with wind on that roof, and for the rest we use the solar. So today there's 88 solar panels installed that will, are generating 24 megawatt hours per year, and with PowerNest we can generate 227, which is nine and a half times more power on that building. That also means a lot for the building resilience. Um, that's almost 150 kilotons of carbon savings per year, and that at a. Uh, and I'm not going to show. I'm not going to bore you with all the details of the business case, but it's a six cents per kilowatt hour uh, for a 20-year investment. So if I look at one scale bigger, and we would have done all those 24 buildings, we would have created the small power plant inside the city, for and that's 5.6 gigawatt hours per year. 12 times more than today installed, and 3,600 3, uh, 3, kilotons of CO2. And lastly, if I scale that up to New York City, where there's 8,500 buildings, um, we would generate almost two terawatt hours per year in the city, and that would save a lot of cabling from all those solar plants and wind farms that you have to bring in the city. So, 
the, the, the sorry? You gotta, you gotta stick to the eight minutes per. Okay, okay. So, yes. I need you to wrap it up. And this was the last slide. Thank okay, you very much. Okay. You All right, thank you. <laughs>